Brigitte is a support who brings various new mechanics to the role and has a lot of unique abilities. So we put together a collection of tricks, combos and advice to help you advance your skills with this knightly protector and become the scourge of flankers everywhere. I'm not going to go over the basics of what she does, we've got a getting started guide if that's what you're looking for. So instead, let's start with some tricks that you can instantly implement into your own gameplay. One of the first things you're going to want to get to grips with is animation cancelling. It's pretty straightforward and used by a number of characters, but if you've not played those heroes in the past, you might not be getting the full advantage of it. Essentially, any of your abilities will instantly overwrite the flail animation of a primary attack. This is similar to what you might have seen Genji players do, where they throw out some shurikens at close range and then follow it up with a quick melee or dash. Using animation cancelling, you can put together bursts of damage where you land primary attacks and then quickly follow them up with a skill. Chain this together and you end up with stuff like this. That is a 190 damage burst almost enough to kill most heroes, and if you just want to take out a tracer or finish someone off, you can leave out the first hit and deal 155 damage like this. You might want to keep your distance. Another thing to note is that you don't actually have to go through the full animation of raising the shield to use shield bash. If you just hit both mouse buttons at the same time, you'll instantly cast the skill. This is an easy way to catch someone off guard as they won't necessarily be expecting it. Another useful trick to add to your arsenal allows you to jump much higher than normal. All you need to do for this is jump and then shield bash into an object. As you hit it, you will be propelled upwards with the added momentum. The uses for this are fairly limited, but it's worth knowing and experimenting with. Another useful trick that's being underutilised is raising her shield up while casting her ultimate. Because the activation of the ultimate overrides everything else, you can't attack anyway, so there's really no downside to having the barrier up. You don't want to get plinked in the head by an unseen Widowmaker or trying to buff your allies. Whipshot is one of the best tools in the game for peeling attackers off your allies. A simple boop can work wonders. For example, if you see a Genji use dash, you can knock him out of position and make it impossible for him to close the gap for a few seconds. This is even better when done during Dragon Blade. You can do the same thing to someone like Winston and even catch him mid-jump. This next trick is pretty niche, but still worth knowing. Obviously, you can block the damage from Diva's self-destruct with your shield, but if it's travelling close to the ground, you can also use Shield Bash to stop its momentum and avoid it rolling into your team. Barriers down. So those are some tricks that you can implement right away, but now let's take a look at the bigger picture. Brigitte has a few different roles on the team. Obviously she's a healer, but her healing per second through the Inspire passive is very low, and her repair pack, although amazing at burst healing, is on a 6 second cooldown. So although she is a support, you can't consistently save your teammates directly through steady healing, like a Mercy or Anna for example. Instead, Brigitte saves her allies through crowd control and her dueling potential. She is specifically designed to punish flanking heroes, so one of your most important roles will be keeping track of where flankers are and guarding your team's back line from their attempted attacks. This makes game sense and positioning very important. You need to be close to the front line to be able to attack and trigger the Inspire for healing, but you also need to be acutely aware of the danger your back line is in at any point in time. If you sense trouble brewing, you're going to need to move into a place where you can intervene. Another thing you should be trying to do is track enemy ultimates, particularly the ones that are DPS heroes. There are a few reasons it's especially important for Brigitte players in particular to be doing this. The first is that it helps you to anticipate what the enemy will do. For example, if you know their Genji has Dragon Blade, you can be pretty sure in the knowledge that he's going to try and push your back line, so you can make sure you're in a position to stop him when he makes a move. Secondly, you don't want to use Brigitte's ultimate while the enemy is in a position to quickly kill you or your teammates. If you cast Rally and then instantly get burst down with a barrage, it's going to be a massive waste. Even casting it and having teammates die to something like a tactical visor is terrible value, but we'll come back to our ultimate usage again in a moment. The last reason Brigitte in particular should be tracking enemy ults and passing that information onto her team is that someone has to be doing it and Brigitte doesn't have to worry much about aim or complex mechanics, making it much easier for her compared to most other heroes. So let's take a look at her ultimate as it's pretty unique. The first thing to understand is that like I mentioned, it's terrible at countering enemy ultimates. So while Zen or Lucio can negate the damage from a Dragon Blade for example, Rally will barely make any difference. For comparison, Transcendence gives 300 healing per second, while Rally gives just 30 armor per second. 
Instead, you have to think about Rally as a preemptive ultimate that you're actually going to be casting outside of combat most of the time. The ideal situation is that you want to activate Rally about 5 seconds before entering combat. Get your team to group up, you activate Rally and let the armor stack up for a few seconds and then you rush in. For maximum value, you want to get to around 150 armor on each teammate just as you enter combat. This will give you 5 more seconds of the ultimate, essentially providing extra healing during the fight. However, if you're in a solo queue and no one's talking, this can be really hard to coordinate, so in those situations, you're just going to have to work with what you have. Pick a good moment, probably either after winning or losing a fight, and try and get close to a support or another squishy ally and just hit Q and spam group up. It's likely that everyone else will flock to you to get the buff anyway. Used in this way, you can still guarantee the 150 armor on the rest of your team, giving you 50% of the ultimate's potential value, and going into a fight with an additional 900 health on your team will certainly provide an edge. Another advantage to using it completely out of combat is that when the next fight starts, you can then begin charging your ultimate again. Something else to note is that once you're all buffed with the extra armor, you need to be aggressive. If you sit back trading shots at the enemy, all that's going to happen is they will wear away your armor while also charging their ultimates. When Rally has been used, you need to take those extra hit points and fight as hard as possible and get kills quickly. Be aggressive and go in fast. Lastly, let's quickly talk about team composition. If you're solo or duo queuing, this isn't something you're going to have much control over, which is why I left it to last. But there are a couple of do's and don'ts when it comes to Brigitte. First, don't pick her as your only healer. Her healing per second is just way too low and you're going to get steamrolled. You're going to need at least one main healer alongside her to stand any chance. If you're playing anywhere from high diamond rank and up, the best results run Brigitte as a third support alongside two others, one of which should nearly always be Zenyatta and the other a main healer like Mercy or maybe Anna. However, if you're playing another team doing the same thing, you will generally need it to be Mercy to damage amp your DPS. No matter the combination, this will make for a team that's very hard to kill. Then you throw in a barrier tank, an off tank, and someone with a lot of pick potential like Widowmaker, Junkrat, Roadhog, etc. In lower ranks, these compositions are a lot more flexible, but still don't run Brigitte as a solo support as it's a horrible experience. When it comes to the enemy team, you'll find Brigitte is pretty strong against heroes who like to dive in. Her armor stacking is also very effective against heroes who deal a lot of small hits, such as Winston or Tracer. She's going to be less effective against heroes who keep their distance. Farrah can be hard for you to deal with, but you actually make it really hard for her to get any kills. Junkrat can be a real nuisance, and then of course Winnowmaker and Hanzo. Hopefully some of these tips will help you to advance your skills as Brigitte, but do you have anything more to add? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James Sakurs, saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.